I'm joined right now by Cal State San Marcos softball team coming off a victory in the winner take all game of the 2024 CCA softball tournament. The Cougars won 6-2. to two. I'm joined right now by head coach Steph Ewing on her immediate right, Madison Waymire, further down the line, Jalen Sloss on her left, Paige Donnelly, further down the line, Mackenzie Kessler. Coach, would you take us through your thoughts on this game particularly, but all of today? I loved our team's battle and fight. Uh, you know, we came out out of the gate in game one, and Sav was throwing a gem. I mean, she, she was. She, she came out and was throwing really, really well. Um, you know, we had a, a tough inning there where the ball just didn't bounce our way, and, and they were able to score. Uh, and it was a tough moment for our team to, to see her go down and get hurt. I mean, that gutted all of us. Um, you know, she's just been a big part of our team all year, and and to see that she was throwing so well, it just kind of it took the wind out of ourselves for for a minute. And you know, when Dylan came in. She threw a great inning, and in between games, we just said, "Hey, this is it. This is you know the seventh time we're going to play this team this year, and we got to leave it all on the field. We got a chance to win the conference tournament on our home turf, and let's make some adjustments, and let's let's find a way to put that in the past, and uh, you know go out and do it." And it was, you know, hey, when Waymeyer hit that home run in the first inning, it, it it I think then everyone was just like, "Okay, we're good." Like it, it, it just relaxed everybody to, you know, go out there and do what we needed to do. Dahlia did a fantastic job um, getting the start, and uh, I told her, I said, hey, just go out there and throw strikes for us and get ground balls, and she did a really, really nice job, and um, Jaylene came in and closed the door. Uh, so, you know, this team is tested in the postseason. Um, it's just three years in the making that we, we've got some experience, and it was nice to not see us panic. Uh, especially after seeing an injury like that happen on the field. I think it can really affect people when that happens. And, uh, you know, we just did a really nice job. Um, we really, you know, as the game went on, we just had a lot of quality at bats. And, you know, hats off to Toy. Man, she was tough. She, she just, she did a really nice job. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully they're not in our regional because <laughs> we would really like to not see her in the circle again for a while. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, really, really happy for these girls. They've worked really hard, and, uh, and they earned it. Paige, I want to talk to you about that there on the offense. Today's game, the, the late game, excuse me, I thought you guys did a really good job continuing to tack on runs on that one. Can you tell me, was there ever a conversation in the dugout, or was there ever anything of point of emphasis to make sure continue to add on each inning? Um, I think every game we try to communicate with each other as much as we can. Like, if I'm up and I get out, I'm talking to Madison, or if she gets out, she's talking to the next person. I think that's just something that I love about this team is that we just continue to like, pick each other up. And I mean, we talk about it all the time, like passing the bats. That's an important thing. We try to you know, do every single inning. Mackenzie, I'm going to ask you really quick. I'll come back to you on another one. But I'm going to ask you about Jaylene. How confident are you when you see her go on the mound? You guys were in a 3-1 lead, I think, at that moment. Just tell me the confidence or how you feel when she goes out there in the circle. Oh, my gosh. It's just like, whew, like, And you can totally see it in the way we play, too. Everyone's shoulders kind of go back. And a lot of it is Jaylene's confidence, too. She has so much confidence in the circle. And she knows um, just what she's going to do. Uh, just conversations I have with her, just the way she talks about the batters and the game, she just knows so much. And I think that really helps her and gives her an advantage too, along with her just pure talent. But overall, we just, it's so fun to have her in the circle. Jaylene, I thought there might be a couple out there that you would look a little differently on, but I thought you guys pretty played, you guys had pretty good defense come up behind you all weekend. Could you talk about defense and just the faith you have in them when the ball does get put in play? Yeah, I mean, um, I always trust my defense to make great plays. They've made great plays all year for me. Um, they've gotten me out of a lot of sticky situations. Um, so if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be as successful as I have been. Madison, i got to talk to you about this class. This is a, I think everybody up here is a junior right now. This class has kind of helped turn San Marcos around. we we got to be honest about that statement. Over three years now, you guys have won the regional, you guys have won the, the CCA regular season, and you guys have the CCA tournament. Can you just tell me the way that you continue to help build this program and how you guys have already taken some new heights? What, what your teammates need to do? Yeah, I mean, Coach talks about it all the time. Like, she brought these girls here to, to do this, you know, and 
she instilled that mindset into us. And I think, I mean, what a blessing it is to just like, sometimes when I really think about it, I'm like, how did we all end up here? You know, because <laughs> there is, it's just, it's insane. Like the, the talent just down the line, like not extending from this class, but class mind us and, and just keeping it rolling down the line. Like clearly we've changed the culture. Um, and these girls are just fun. Like we have built such a connection with each other. And especially this, this junior class, it's so big. Um, I just think we're, we're like this, you know, we're tight and we're going to have each other's back on and off the field. And I think we've really come together and it, it just shows on the field, but yeah, there's, I could go on about it forever. <laughs> Paige, I got to ask you one other side of things. You guys have obviously had great postseason success over the last couple of years. You guys have been able to turn on a different time. Is there a different mentality you guys have in postseason versus regular season? Putting on the spot, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no, I think Coach had mentioned, like, today's game wasn't any different than the first couple of seasons. And I think just having that mindset of, like, keeping like, everything the same, having the same plan, knowing what we're going to do up to bat, that's just something that we carry with us this season. Coach, do you feel that this tournament setting allows you to kind of get that one tournament feel before you guys go into regionals and kind of practice on that one. How do you feel this helps set you up for that? I think anytime you you, you play the best, um, and, and for us, you know, the, the six best teams in our conference made the conference tournament. So anytime you're in a setting where, you know, you're going to have that, that postseason feel, that tournament feel, uh, I think it helps prepare you for what's going to happen. You know, the, the format here, especially uh, with being the first round by and, and knowing it's basically a four-team tournament after that, it's really nice um, you know, to to just be ready for what regionals is. You know, we're, we'll obviously see who's gonna who we're gonna play and where we're gonna go, and we'll be ready for it. Um, sure, would love to continue to only play one game a day. Um, I think this this whole group would would really like that. But we understand the you know the intensity that comes with the postseason. But this group thrives on it. They they crave it. They they want it. And. We're, we're really looking forward to finding out where we're going on Monday. Um, we're ready. This, this group is ready. We've been working since August to have a, an opportunity to get in the tournament. And, and we, we talk out loud, and I, and I tell the girls all the time that you can't win a national championship unless you say it, unless you say, like, that's our goal. That's what we want to do. And we have said all year long that that's our goal. And that's a lofty goal. I mean, there's only one team in the country that gets to make that happen. There's only one team in the country that gets to win their last game. And we're at the point in time of the season where it's how long do you want to keep this group together? You know, what are you willing to do and sacrifice to make it happen? And here we are, we're, you know, we're going to have our name called for the NCAA tournament. And this group is a tight-knit group. They, they do have each other's back. They care about each other. They've worked really hard. And now it's time for me to just let the players play and, and let them shine in, in on their moments. and. Let's see what's going to happen, but I think we all feel pretty good about it, and we're ready. We, we know we're going to have some good teams in our regional, and uh, we just got to play our game and play Cougar softball, and I, I like our shot. Last, very last one, going to ask McKinsey, how special is it winning in front of your hometown fans, having your parents here, and everything else like that? It's so nice to be at home. I can see all of our parents in the stands just going crazy, and of course, it's nice to be able to be at home and not have to go travel super far. So it's really nice to be out here. We got to see that great that great trophy. Got to see some of you take photos with your parents and stuff. So great work on the entire season. We can't wait to see where you guys go in regional. On that quick note, we will know early Monday morning, 7 a.m. selection show. So you guys are probably having a watch party. I hope everybody else can find out where the Cougars will be going. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.